Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Adam RPG with me, Bring It Dawn. Let's start by talking to the innkeeper or barkeep, whatever her title is. Sell her some potatoes and corn, cheese. Gotta make back some of that money that we spent last episode sending what's her face to Truda Trudegrad. A sumptuous, blushful woman is yawning and dusting crumbs and flies off the wooden bar. She looks bored, displeased, and busy at the same time. Let's be honest, it sounds like a complicated combo. Have you noticed you? She shakes her head and says in a bitter tone. Oh, mister, hope you won't start a shootout here as well. I'm more interested in the price of your rooms. We have a room available. There'll be 50 rubles. I'll bring you some food. All right, well, I've changed my mind. Let's take one step back. The woman yawns, graciously covering her mouth. I want to ask you a couple more questions. Ha! Huh. Alright, ask your questions, mister. I could use some entertainment around here, while it's so quiet. Oh, where do you get your produce from? Jesus, mister. It falls from the sky, of course. Have you heard of manna from heaven? Once a week I go outside with a bucket on my head to catch it. Your questions are stupid. From the traders, from the farmers. Where else? Oh, sarcasm, I see. Can you handle another question? The woman looks bored. She nods. Is it hard to do your job? Come. Would you like me to bring you a second apron? Try it and tell me. What kind of question is this? Hard? Not hard? Only bad news travels easy. Well, you're right. May I ask something else? Uh, what's life like around here? Is it safe? Well, now that our humble canteen has such strong guardian watching over it, what safety issues can we possibly have? His questions can make any gangster's brain overheat. What's wrong with my questions? I just came up with another one. The woman yawns into an open palm. Uh, what's the fresh gossip in these parts? Listen, mister. Would you like me to put an old grandma scarf around your head? It's a very flattering accessory for people who enjoy gossip. I'm sure you would look stunning. The woman puts her hands on her hips and starts laugh loudly laughing at her own joke. Okay, so you don't leave empty-handed, like Rivlin from Celestia, who tore, tore our roof apart. A couple of weeks ago, some strange men passed through here. They spent the whole night studying an old military map. They were searching for the lost convoy. I have no idea what that thing is, but after your conversation, uh, they went in the direction of the mountains. Lost convoy, you say? I see. I have something else? Alright. And that's it from her. A skinny man of medium height is nervously glancing at his wristwatch, shifting from foot to foot and muttering something under his breath. The words start sounding clearer as you approach him. Soon. So very soon. It'll be so easy in a couple of days. I'll be in Krasno without a care in the world. No problem. No problem at all. Ah. Yeah. Can I help you? Well, I want to ask you a couple of questions. May I? Sure. It's like I'm going anywhere, right? No one has sent a truck to pick me up yet. Why shouldn't we engage in a pleasant conversation? Uh, where are you from, bud? I was born to the northwest of these lands, in a fairly large city. It was there that I learned the trade from my father. I also learned to read and write. It was there that I've lost my mother and father in a gangster raid. From that moment on, until fairly recently, I kept on traveling and offering my services to anyone who's needed them. What a tragic fate. One more question. It's pointless. Although, ah, what the heck. Go ahead and ask. Uh, what do you know about this place? For me, this is a prison, rather than a friendly inn. However, for the people who aren't bound by the unbreakable paper chains of bureaucracy, this place is quite safe. Uh, good to hear. I have a following question. Uh, what are the places of interest in the Mountain Pass? Out of all the checkpoints on the local map that I heard about, for some reason I found the old castle the most interesting. It's less than a day away from here. Maybe I should have offered my services there. The old castle. Sounds interesting. One more question. Uh, sure, go ahead. Care to share some local gossip with me? A while ago, a traveling electrician stopped here. And he managed to catch a signal from the Krasno TV tower. Can you believe that? However, all that we saw was a propaganda video about some toad ghouls that can be distinguished from real people, only by the level of dislike for the regional government. Tell me, dummy. Are you a toad as well, by any chance? Huh. What if I stick a straw up your you-know-what and try to fill you with air, and then throw you against the wall? Will there be a green stain left? I don't think so. Are you trying to tell me that I'll need to get a note that proves I'm not a toad as well? 
It seems to me that these toads aren't real. They're just a clever political trick. One more question. Alright. Uh, changing topic won't help me with my visit to Krasno, but it will spice up this conversation. So by all means, let's change the subject. Uh, why do you want to get to Krasno so badly? The man covers his eyes with his palms and sighs. I'll tell you why. After long correspondence with a certain representative of the authorities, the so-called Chamber of Commerce, I was asked to become a local government official. But on my way to getting this new job, I got stuck. I got stuck here in this caravan sarai, until I get the required papers. How's it possible to get stuck in a place like this? Even if there were an explanation for this, it would have been uh, empirical. It would defy all logic. I, ahem. I got a job in the Krasno Municipality. I came here late one evening to enter this city. There was no transport anymore. I was out of money to pay for a room. They asked me who I am, or who am I. Recalling my past professions, I introduced myself as a land surveyor. The local authorities decided that I was an important enough person to stay the night for free. But when the morning came, it turned out that the rumor that I was a land surveyor had also reached the bus drivers, and they refused to drive such a big shot without a convoy, fearing that someone would want to kidnap or kill me on the way. Going back home also doesn't make any sense, because now I need to get to Krasno. Uh, why don't you leave with the nearest transport? After I foolishly introduced myself as a land surveyor to get a free room here for the night, drivers refused to take me to Krasno without convoy. Therefore, I requested a convoy for my employers in the city. But first I need to prove that I really am a land surveyor, because simple clerks aren't entitled to convoys, and I cannot admit that I am no longer a land surveyor, because then I'll have to pay the owners of the caravan sarai. So I've sent a request and started waiting for the documents confirming my qualifications from the Trudegrad Land Surveyors Guild, where I used to be a member. But instead I received a request for confirmation that I was indeed the land surveyor that used to be a member of the guild. <laughs> Good old bureaucracy. Uh, what kind of papers are you looking for? Maybe I can help. Thank you, friend. But I've already submitted all the necessary requests, and I've asked Krasno to send a convoy to get me. The Chamber of Commerce has asked me to prove that I am indeed a land surveyor. I have submitted a request to the Land Surveyors Guild. I was a member there once. They asked me to prove that I am who I claim to be. Right now, the only thing left to do is wait. And try not to think too much about what will happen to me if at least one of the dozens of postmen carrying my documents will get into trouble. Oh, sometimes I escape the caravan Sarai walls and climb the highest mountain around to see somewhere on the horizon the lights of Krasno, only to realize that I'll never be able to get there. Oh, don't give up, buddy. I should get going before I get stuck here myself. Bye. All right, let's talk to this guy. The fat man with the mad gaze that's moving frantically from side to side is so surprised when you approach him that he almost jumps up. Without wasting any time, he grabs your hand and starts talking quickly. Hey dude, are you an adventure seeker by chance? Or any chance? Listen, help me. Just help a man out. I'll make it worth your while. Officer's honor. You will get a good reputation among the members of the court. One officer of the Pancake and Syrup Army? Not important. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about everything later. So, this is what you'll have to do. W wait a second. Let's talk first. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Well, if you insist. Uh, who are you, even? I am Sasha Stancevich. Drug. Hmm. A mailman to the people. Of help to the everyday folk and a friend to the mice. I see. Uh, one more question. Spit it out. What are you doing here? I'm trying to catch my breath. The guys from the castle have made me a victim of persecution. They took away my client. But let's not talk about it anymore. It's up to you, of course. Uh, one more question, then. Uh, how do you like this place? Does it float your boat? <laughs> it's okay. But I don't feel at home uh, here. It's these eyes. Eyes everywhere. Side glances. Uh-huh. Textbook paranoia. One more question. Do you happen to know any good gossip? I want everyone to know that I'm a man of honor, even though they don't like me there. I must say that the old castle in the Mountain Pass of Woes is a very interesting place. And the people there are wonderful and unique, and dangerous. I'll keep this in mind. One more question. Actually, that's it. However, I think it's best if we change the topic now. Sure, the topic isn't like a spot in the entourage. It can be easily changed. Uh, what is this court you're talking about? Uh, where you want, where you want to talk me up? Ah, 
Or ah ah ah. That's a good question, dude. At the court of his high, of his majesty Pippin, the Mice King. He lives under the old castle with his young princess and entourage. Ah, if you could only see the parties they have there. The mice peasants bake the cheese pies and puff pastries of the Rusulas. The mice chefs cook sparrow roast, stuffed pigeons, sprat and aspic with cheese. Help you understand that the things you describe are purely imaginary. A corpulent confident confidant widely opens his eyes, covers his mouth with his hand and makes a loud shh sound. You fool, I know that, I'm not a kid. But how come you don't understand that if you start a rumor about something, it will sooner or later come true? Like this one drug dealer I knew, or no, I mean, an experienced mailman, Blue Phil. He introduced himself as Adam to call to all the cops in Krasno. And then one day, some Adam Feller just materializes out of nowhere, with a knife, a jar full of acid, and a couple of question, a couple of questions to my buddy. It's a weird way to say that, but yeah, this is a reference to Planescape Torment as well. If you uh, introduce yourself as, it's a Don, right? Like A D A H N. Eventually, he does appear in Planescape, or in a uh, sigil. You can speak to him. Now, it doesn't matter. So even if this mice kingdom do doesn't exist, it will soon appear. And they will find a way to shrink me and include me in the royal court. Don't you get it? Imagine how long a bag of the devil weed would last me if I were the size of a mouse. I'd be able to get high every day until the day I retire. Oh, now it all makes sense. Let's talk about something else. Uh, what was it you wanted me to do? Satisfied with the fact that he was able to attract your attention, the fat man slaps you on the shoulder and starts telling you his story. So here goes, dude. You see, I'm a postman. Get it? I'm bringing mail to various people. And I used to bring mail to the old castle as well, when I had a client there. The last time I brought him his mail, I've gotten into a little misunderstanding with his friends. I had to run. And long story short, I've lost that important package near the castle. Can you go and look for it? I would have went myself. I'm afraid that they'll shoot me. After all, we had quite a fight. I'll pay you an even grand. It's good money. Uh, not a bad salary for a mailman. How come you have so much money to spend? I got it from my grateful clients. So what's it going to be? It's a deal. I'll search the forest and bring the package. Oh, here we go. Actually, I'll say this. I can't promise you anything. If I find your package, I'll return it to you. Bye. Did not give me a quest for that? Did not. Why not? Okay, so they accept it there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see, what else can we sell? Just got a few ripples laying around. We'll grab what we can. Alright. You see a bald, tough guy sitting in front of you. His hands are clenching a clay cup with some kind of suspicious liquid. His body is safely covered by heavy armor. Have you noticed you? The big guy lazily salutes you with two fingers, without blinking an eye, takes a sip from his glass. Hello there, traveler. Are you interested in doing a little work? Because I can tell that you're one heck of a guy. You're right. I'm a tough cookie. The man grins slightly, but then nods. Yes. Yes. Very tough. It's obvious right away. I have a job just for you. There'll be fighting, shooting, and slashing involved. Nothing a real wastelander wouldn't like. It's a job for a real hunter. For a real man, not a boy. Uh, sounds intriguing, but who are you? I am a merchant and an adventure seeker from the north. However, right now I'm in no mood for any extra adventures. The man points at his right leg. You lower your gaze and involuntarily shiver. His leg is covered with a dirty, bloody bandages stained with yellow... Sarasinguinus blood. Uh, the skin underneath them is blue and covered in necrotic stains. Yeah, it is how it is. I've been chewed up by some mutants. If my leg doesn't fall off, it will heal well. This isn't my first rodeo. But for now, the only thing I can do is sit here and sell things. And for this reason, I need some help from a traveling adventurer. So, let me guess. You need someone killed. Not, necess not necessarily, but it could come to that. You see, this one fat cat from Trudegrad had ordered a crown made entirely from wolf fangs. A crown. What does he even need it for? Whatever. It's not important. 
Uh, what is important is that I can't get the required fangs myself. I need someone to get them for me. I need a hunter. Easy peasy. How many fangs do you need? Not that many. 30 should be more than enough. And let me be honest with you. Any fangs will do. Because my client isn't able to tell the difference. What do you say? Fine. I'll get your fangs. Or I'll get you your fangs. Don't you worry. I'm not worried at all. Because I can tell from the very beginning that I can trust you completely. You won't let me down. And now, are you looking to buy something? Why the heck no? <laughs> Show me what you've got. Alright. Uh, just answer some questions for me, will you? Questions? Alright. Why not answer some questions? How'd you end up here in Caravan Sarai? I walked here. Huh. Well, the same as everybody here, I suppose. There isn't much to do in the north now. It's a great place to be if you enjoy fighting gangsters and catching bullets. But if you're looking to survive, it's best to stay south. Closer to Krasno. I'm not scared of danger, but I'm not willing to risk my life for nothing. You and me both. Let me ask you something else. Yeah? Uh, what else do you do, except for being a salesman? I make things. And, promise not to laugh, I arm wrestle. Have you heard about arm wrestling? That's what I sometimes do for money. I have plenty of strength and endurance. Why don't we try that? The standard price is 100 rubles. Strength and endurance, you say? Well, why the heck not? Here's 100. You pass the money over to the man and rest your elbow on the table surface. Your opponent does the same as you. And your opponent does the same as you. So I think there should be an and here. Your opponent does the same as you, and you interlock your hands. Three, two, one. Let's go. Withstand the first push. Your opponent is huffing, puffing, and sweating, but his hand doesn't move. It's now your turn to act. Start your attack. You grab onto the table edge and push. With difficulty at first, slowly, but then faster and faster the hand of your opponent starts to go down. Until finally his palm touches the sticky surface of the table. It's over. You won. Wow, you're a strong man. Respect. Here's 200 rubles. You've earned them. Whew, darn. Let's talk some more. Have you heard any interesting rumors floating around lately? People say that the political situation in the central region of the wasteland has become very complicated. I, however, think that it's... Uh, really p painfully simple. There's Krasno and there's Paragon. They don't like each other and keep pulling stunts on one another. Especially Krasno. And that's it. It's a story as old as time. It's like USSR and the USA. You're right. It isn't complicated at all. Let me ask you something else. Uh, do you have any advice for me? I advise you to stay to... I advise you to stay to rest in the wasteland more often. It's obvious that you know how to make a fire. So use that skill. Having an extra snack never hurt anybody. Wise words. Change the subject. You're within your right to do so. Are you looking to buy something? Nope, but we do have... We should have... Hello again. Are you looking to buy something? Uh, wait a second. About these things you need. So... Have you found it yet? You're in luck. I already have them. Great. Uh, give them to me. I'll trade you some ammo for them. Because what has the most value in the wasteland? Food and ammo. Well, don't be stingy. Or just don't be stingy. I helped you out after all. Fine. You managed to persuade me. I'll put in some extra ammo for you. Cool. Do that. Uh, there you go. Thanks again. Now we can do real business. Are you looking to buy something? Nope. But that is why I've been holding on to those fangs for so long. I don't remember how many I needed, but it was 30. We're seeing a ton of ammo. Come on, there we go. Alright. He's over encumbered because of all the ammo we just gave him. Alright, so we can give these back to Alexander. That helps out a little bit. Uh, let's give these to Alexander as well.
Oh yeah, is there any reason to not... Hmm. Okay, this has higher minimum damage by one. It's higher max damage by three. AP costs are the same across the board. This is a burst shot of two. This is a burst shot of three. 10% stun chance. Yeah, so I think the Saiga is just straight better. So we can sell that. The IZ58. At some point. Alright, let's make some money off this guy with the stuff he just gave us. Where did this scorpion from? And this pistol. Oh, we got it from uh, Artemyev and his bodyguard. That's right. Alright, let's talk to this guy. A bearded old man in a tubateka is sipping tea from a small porcelain mug and worthily tapping his fingers on the tabletop. The old man's gaze lingers on you for a moment, and he smiles politely. Welcome to the caravan Sarai, although it seems you've already managed to get, get into trouble here. Alright, how can old man Makhmadov help you today, Aki? No, the real question is how can I help old man Makhmadov? Ho ho! Well, aren't we nice? Maybe you can indeed help me, Aki. We have a problem that you may, that to you may seem insignificant. However, we find it rather perturbing. Well, come on, spit it out. There's a reason I brought this up, after all. Our cook Arson has gone missing. The thing is, he isn't just a regular line cook. Oh no. He's the best cook in all the gorge. He's the favorite of every caravaner, adventurer, and mercenary who passes through our inn. Without him here, people are starting to look for an alternate route through the mountains. It may sound weird to you, but while traveling, but while traveling, good food does wonders for morale. Uh, how did he disappear? Hmm. I remember him acting weird for quite some time, smiling for no reason, whistling to himself, behaving suspiciously. Maybe he started smoking weed. Uh, what if he's dead? What happens next? That would be bad, really bad. But I don't think he's dead. Arson was acting strange these past few days. I'm sure something isn't right. This calls for a thorough investigation. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Yes, Aki. Please do that. Find out poor Arson, and better yet, bring him back to us. Our lives will be miserable without his cooking. Fine. But answer a couple questions first. Alright, alright, Aki. Ask me your questions. Curiosity needs to be satisfied. Uh, tell me about the caravanserai. This building is much older than one might think. I heard it is around 500 years old built during the rule of Shah Ocherbot to supply his troops with provisions. And this caravan Sarai was built for traveling merchants to do business with the Shah's army. Surprisingly enough, it still fulfills almost the same purpose, apocalypse or no. Uh, what a great historical overview. May I ask something else? Please. Uh, the Mountain Pass of Woes. What's it like? If it weren't for the wild animals, robbers, and the bandits who took over the old castle, it would have been a real paradise. Untouched nature, the amazing Zagaremsk waterfall with its red waters. And according to rumor, there's an abandoned bunker somewhere in the mountains. I don't know if it's true or not. That sounds interesting. May I ask something else? Uh, what's the news around here? A land surveyor showed up recently. He's waiting for an official permit to pass through to Krasno. I've heard that you let your land surveyors walk around freely, but not us. His profession is much too important to let him wander around wherever he wants. The roads are dangerous, after all. That's harsh but fair. May I ask something else? Have you heard any good rumors lately? They say that before the war, the government conducted secret experiments in the area between our gorge and the dead city. It's terrifying to imagine what they were studying there. Terrifying and unnecess unnecessary. After all, so many years have passed. Uh, that is true. May I ask something else? Change the subject. Uh, what else do you want, Aki? Listen, Makhmadov. I've been sent from Krasno. You don't say. Directly from Krasno. 
What do they want with our little caravan Sarai? Krasno is hoping for fruitful collaboration. Oh, is that so? Big words coming from a big city man. You already heard about the problem we have with our chef. Bring him back to the caravan Sarai, and I'll agree, and I'll agree to whatever you ask. I'm happy to hear that. Have fun at your little tea party, Makhmedov. Alright. So that's everyone spoken to. A couple quests knocked out. And we gained two new quests. Let us take a peek at the Mountain Pass of Woes itself. Alright. Welcome to the Mountain Pass of Woes. There's the castle. It's not a huge map, but... I don't know if there's anything to the north here. Because the castle's here. I think the bunker is further north. I don't know if there's anything over that way. Yeah, start mapping it out. You can circ circumvent a lot of this just by having paying that one guy to guide you to each location. I don't think anything unique happens if you have him take you around. So it's not worth spending. It's only 10 rubles, but still. You found a small cave. Strange scratching noises come from, from it. Would you like to check it out? Yeah, we'll check it out. Some small scratching noises aren't going to intimidate me. Let's see. I don't recognize this enemy. recognize this enemy at all. Let's uh, swap to some some firepower here. Bear Cricket. Okay. Oh, he summoned another one? Good job, Hexogen. He's not messing around. None of these guys. Yeah, the hunting rifle's putting in some serious work here. All the attacks he's taken, he's only been hit the one time for three damage. I said we shoot the other one. That's fine though. Four hundred and sixty two experience. Not bad. All right, let's have Alexander carry this stuff for me. And that grenade as well. I feel like this is going to go away on its own. I shouldn't have to... Let's see, do I have any water? I'll just drink water if I have that. 
but I don't think I do. I right, screw it. Oh, okay, here's the chitin, or chitin, however you want to say it. Weighs one whole... Alright, cool. So that's what we need for... Uh, Gavrilov to make us that... armor that he wears. Neat. New enemy type. I've never run across these guys before. What I might do going forward is actually just pay for that pay that guy to take us to these locations. Uh, so we can just get those knocked out. I will do some exp well. Now I do want to walk around the uh, mountain pass of Woe, so see if I can find that lost caravan this time around. Cause I never found it in my last playthrough. So I might do that off camera. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll just map this out on camera. Uh, head to all these locations. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I think I'll leave it here. And then on camera, or next time, we'll head towards whatever. We'll just map out the, uh, the Mountain Pass of Woes region. If I don't find the Lost Caravan before we leave the Mountain Pass of Woes, I'll try and find that random encounter off camera and then start an episode when I find it. That's what we'll do. See if I can locate it this time around. Either way, I'm going to call the episode here. Thanks for watching. and hope to see you guys in the next one.